This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Peace, kapayamaan. July 25th is the feast of our patron saint, James the Great. Happy feast day. In these last few days, I have met amazing parishioners who call this church home. As I see the different ministries and activities, there is a rich tapestry of love woven into the fabric of this parish. It is my intention to continue with this work, and I offer myself to serve you in keeping all that you love about this parish alive. This reminds me of St. James the Great. He was one of the most famous apostles, having witnessed the transfiguration to traveling to Spain to spread the faith. As I look at this parish, it is like St. James after the transfiguration, shining brightly with the light of faith. You have built tents here to glorify God with your ministries and volunteer activities. But as wonderful as that work is, our mission still remains to continue to evangelize with all our brothers and sisters from all the corners of the globe instead of traveling to a distant land to do this. God has brought the people of that land to us in the form of the Filipino Apostolate. The Filipino Apostolate is a group of Catholics who are immigrants and children of immigrants from the Philippines. As we entered this land of great promise and opportunity, we sought to keep our faith alive with the traditions we inherited from our ancestors. We hope you will join us in our novenas, prayer services, and activities. And we hope you will welcome us in your activities as well. When St. James went to Spain to evangelize, the Blessed Virgin Mary came to visit him, to encourage him. She gave him a pillar to build a church and continue his mission. You see, evangelization is not just spreading the faith to non-believers, but also is strengthening faith in its other to enhance our faith. I hope that we can work together to build pillars of faith with this church. For though each of these pillars is unique and strong, we all serve the same purpose, the salvation of souls to our Lord Jesus Christ. As with all new things, there will be some changes and new ideas. I ask you to work with me because our goal is the same, to keep this church alive with our faith. Being alive in faith does not mean staying the same, for even the most beautiful statue is not alive. We must help St. James the Great Paddish grow and evolve together with an eye toward the traditions that have brought us here. I find myself fortunate to live a church named after St. James the Great, who is also famous for the Camino de Santiago in Spain. We are all on a pilgrimage on a path of faith. As your pastor and friend, I hope to show you the way and shine a light on the path when we are lost in darkness. Your servant, your friend, Father Ephraim, am here to serve you, to keep you on the path of faith to Christ. So if there is anything I can do, please do not hesitate to call. The work of faith is not easy. Even our Lord in the Gospel of Mark said that it is easier for a camel to pass to the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. But just as he said these words, 
He followed it up with, With men, it is impossible, but not with God. For all things are possible with God. As we start this new chapter together, I put my faith in God and my trust in you. And be assured that I will pray every day for you, that may the Lord bless you and your family. Siksik, ligli, at nagumamaw na biyaya. Press down, shaken together, and overflowing graces. Sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen.